Let's talk about water quality. Um, when customers call, I try to figure out what they really want and to break it down into like two kind of easy kind of categories. You have your water conditioners and you have your water softeners. Water softeners have been around forever. What they do is they take the minerals out of the water and then they replace it with sodium or potassium. Sodium does not like to stick to things. It's kind of a soft, soft mineral. It doesn't stick to anything. You can just wipe it right away. It doesn't build up. It doesn't eat things. It's soft, soft water. Um, on the other hand, you have water conditioners. So what a water conditioner will do is it does not soften water. Um, this particular model has this fancy little magnet thing in here. What this does is it realigns the ions so that instead of wanting to grab onto each other, they want to repel. And when they repel, they don't want to stick to the faucet. They don't want to build up around your sink. They especially will not build up inside your heat exchanger. So we like to use these on the bottom of the units to protect the heat exchanger itself. And then there's another one inside here for your whole house. Um, pros of a, salt, of a salt system or water soft is that nothing compared to it. If you don't like things on your dishes, if you don't want anything building up on your sink, it's soft water. There's no other way. It's, it's the, the bee's knees. You can't replace it. It is what it is. The downside is, is that they waste a lot of water refreshing their systems and their salt. So you can't drink any of the water. You have to then have another filter to pull out all the sodium so that you can drink it. Otherwise you'll be salt man. Um, so the pros of the salt system are that it eliminates hard water. I mean, it literally takes out the minerals and spits out a soft mineral sodium. So you're not gonna have things sticking in your dishwasher. Your clothes will be a little brighter. It'll be softer on your hair. It does give you that kind of slippery, slimy feeling where you never feel like you got stuff off. It's always just kind of like, ugh. Um, and then you have the conditioning systems. What this does, it does not exchange any minerals. So it leaves in the calcium magnesium it uses this magnet thing to realign all the minerals so that they don't want to clump up together. And the clumping is what you notice. You don't notice one mineral or two. It's when they build up in the thousands and build up on stuff. So the benefit to this is that although you don't get that hard water protection, you're still going to see crap on your glasses. It's still going to build up here and there. It will reduce it, but it's not going to eliminate it. But this pulls out the crap out of the water that's bad for your body. So it takes out the chloramines, the chlorine, all the stuff that you shouldn't be showering in, this thing removes it. So you can actually use this to drink out of the faucet and to shower in and wash your vegetables in and you're not just absorbing a ton of chlorine. So in theory, you can have a softening system and a conditioner at the same time, but they almost counteract each other. It doesn't really make a ton of sense. So there isn't one that does both. There just isn't. Trust me, if there was, I would be selling it, but there isn't. So basically it comes down to, do you want some hard water spots on your windows or do you want to be absorbing chlorine into your body all day? So you got to pick one. It really is that easy. I've chosen to go with the, let's not put chlorine all over myself all day and let's minimize the buildup in the water heater. So the Halo product is pretty cool. I like it. Um, out of the two at this price point, it's a great deal. It offers a lot of value. And personally, I'm more concerned about my body than I am my faucet. So that's why I decided to go the conditioning route.